Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. Today we are going to be talking about rotations and we're going to be finding the coordinates of our new images once we rotate a shape. Now let's do a little review of what rotations are. Now rotations are very hard to visual and they're very hard to create just by using your eyes. But just a little review of what it is. If I were asked to take this triangle and rotate it 90 degree clockwise, um, First, you have to know what clockwise means. And do you, does everybody know what clockwise means? Let's take a look at a clock. And clockwise goes this way. Okay. Now that you know which way to go, we're going to be taking that 90 degrees. And that's one quadrant over, 90 degree uh, clockwise. And so this is our rotation where it lands. And so you'll notice that each of the corresponding points have a little apostrophe on them, and we call those primes. And so R prime, S prime, and T prime. Now let's say we were doing a 180 degree clockwise rotation. Those skateboarders out there know what a 180 is, right? That's a half turn. And so we're going to be doing uh, one half of a circle, and so we're going to head into two quadrants. And so this is what it looks like after it's been rotated with all the prime uh, markings as well. Now a 270 clockwise rotation, that's three quadrants around. So we're going to be taking it around this way. And it'll end up here in uh, the third quadrant or around. And so all of the prime notations are there as well. Now, you might have heard of counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is the opposite of the way that the clock goes. And so if I was asked to do a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation, I would go the opposite way. And I would end up here. Now, does that look familiar to our last slide? The reason it, it looks familiar is because it's the same as a 270 degree clockwise rotation. In fact, these two land in the same spot. They're kind of like pairs or partners. So we'll call them rotation partners for right now. If you look at our 180 degree counterclockwise rotation, it goes the opposite way. And as if you can remember, the 180 degree clockwise ends up in the same position. So it doesn't matter whether you're told to do it clockwise or counterclockwise, 180 degrees will land in the same spot. And so those two are partners as well. Now, this one right here is a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. And it's also a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. And so these two will end up in the same spot as well. Now, why am I telling you all this? Well, in order to solve problems that ask you to find the rotation points of new images, there is a list of rules that you can, you can learn. Now, these are all of the pairs that matched up, right? The 90 clockwise, the 270 counterclockwise, and so on. Now, all of these, when you use these rotations, have patterns to them. So this one, xy, turns into y negative x. Now I'm going to explain how that works, but just so you know, all of these pairs have a rule, a pattern to them that you can use instead of having to use a graph or having to manipulate your paper around and, and so on. So let's take a look at this problem. It says to, to rotate the point 3, 7, 90 degrees clockwise. Now up top we have the 90 degree clockwise rotation rule, x, y to y negative x. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to find what 3, 7 rotates into. So let's look at this. Let's first look at the y, our 7. Do you see how that y goes to the first position of the new point? And so our 7 is going to go to the first position of that point. Now the x is going to go to the second position 
and it's going to turn opposite. That's what a negative stands for. So the 3 is going to turn to negative 3. Not too bad. Now let's say we were asked to rotate the point 5, negative 2, 180 degree clockwise. So we're trying to find that new point, and so we find our rule. Here it is, xy changes to negative x, negative y. So we'll first look at the x's, and they're just going to go into the same position, except turn opposite. So this will be 5 goes to negative 5, and the y, it does the same thing. It just turns opposite. So negative 2 turns to a positive 2, and that's how we do that one. Let's say you were asked to do a rotation of the point negative 10, 1, 270 degrees clockwise. So we have to find our new point. So we get our rule for the 270 degree clockwise rotation. And so our y, no, our 1, is going to go to the first position and turn opposite. And negative 10 is going to go to the second position and stay the same. All right. Now, I would never ask you to, uh, to memorize all these, and so we're going to uh, give you the uh, rule list a little later. Now, this one is a typical one that you're going to get. The following points of a triangle are rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise, and you're given the points of the three, or you're given the uh, three points of the triangle. And so we get our rule out for the 90 degree counterclockwise, which happens to be the same as 270 clockwise. And so we're going to change our, image, or our points. So the first one we look at is the x. The x will go to the second position, negative 12. 2 will go to, on, to the second position, and so will 3. Now the y's are going to go to the first position and turn opposite. So we get negative 4, negative 5, and positive 9. And this needs to be done on paper so you make sure that you don't make any mistakes. All right, now before we finish the video, I want you to get your uh, phone out or some a camera of some sort um, and take a picture of this. Now th th these are the rules for our rotations. Now you can find them anywhere on the internet. It doesn't matter if you're in a class right now teachers don't worry they don't have to get their uh, phones out but uh, if you want just a quick reference uh, for the rules you can take a quick picture of those if you're working online and you can always go back and pause it and take a picture of it now the last item is the 360 degree rotation and so this one I put last because um, we all know what a 360 degree rotation is. It's a full circle. And so the image is going to go back onto itself. So all of the points will stay the same. There will be no change in the points in a 360 degree rotation. All right, there you have it. You just learned how to find the coordinates of rotations using a set of rules. Well, I encourage you to go back and rewatch. This was a lot. And this is something that you're going to have to really work on and get used to, to, uh, to try to figure it all out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.